Hey everybody, Ken and Brandon here for Thursday Night Commentary, CCG Poker TV, 2-5 game. Is this on mute? No, I just turned it down a little bit. Part 2. Part 2 of the Outsiders 2-5 game, which I'm slightly disappointed that nobody made any kind of outsider jokes. Like, I don't even expect people to read the book Outsiders. No. I just, I mean, like, it's a crazy movie with... And I forgot so many people, because I talked about it in the Monday Poker Fix, where I was like... Patrick Swayze is in it, Tom Cruise is in it, Emilio Estevez is in it, Rob Lowe is in it, freaking Ralph Macchio uh, Karate Kid is in it. I can't remember his last name. Uh, who else is in it? I don't know, that kid from E.T. I think is in it. Who's Pony Boy? There you go, Pony Boy. Nothing? You know, you've never seen this movie? No. Jack White bought the house that the movie was filmed in. Yeah, I feel like I knew that. And uh, he's redoing it as like an outsider's museum, both yeah. for the book and for the movie. That's Anyways, crazy. enough about the outsiders. I just thought it was a funny little thing to do because you've got literally all the CCG regs eating up the right side, like the, the right table. side of the table to Fletch, and then the three college kids are next to him. Uh, super smart kids, like they're there, young guns, like we're here to take these guys' money, and everybody. And it's not like there's any kind of collusion or any kind of team playing or soft playing. I mean, clearly you can see, gut shot just gutted uh, Big Cup Chris, and they're boys. I mean, they play all the time together at CCG. They play one three together. They play two five together. Yeah, just. They play all the time, like it's fun. Anyways. If you missed the last hand, uh, the two seats name is Chris. Chris. Half the table's Chris, so I just got Half the table's Chris. Chris. Chris just punted just, off. Just bluffed off just his stack punted. of Mike. He wrapped the straight. Mike had that Mike had the, the nut, nut straight. straight. Yeah. Anyways. So here we are. Um, back at it. Second part of this three part series, CCG Poker TV. Whoa, look at this. Big come Chris calling thirty with six five off. Floating. He must be tilted. Yeah, he his wife probably texted him. Yeah. Where are you? Where are you? Baby's crying. Baby's crying. <laughs> Ace <laughs> two three flop. Chris is the only one who flopped a gut shot. Everybody else this whiffed is great. pretty hard. It's a good river. Will's got the king of clubs for backdoor clubs. Alright. Baby's go. got a king. He turns a king, got checked around on the flop. Will is the three seed. Will is... I've watched him play now for a couple of sessions on the table. We've done this 2-5 game here at the max a couple of times. I think... Anyways, we, we've done it a lot here, and, and they like playing. Will and Chris came this past weekend and played on the table as well. Will just gets owned. Like, he plays such good poker, and he's just getting owned. He's basically the Dan Negreanu of right. CCG. Oh, high stakes poker where he just plays. <laughs> yeah, just gets in the nuts, lose, lose, yeah, lose. Just lose. can I, Jack over pairs, never good. Like I saw him lose with Jacks like three times, and then he finally gets queens. And I was like, yes, got away from the Jacks. I'm the and then gets out flopped again. When I go chip, I like just couldn't make it happen. He won that pot though. Yeah, they win all the small ones. They win all the small ones, lose the big ones. <laughs> U of C, right? U of University C. of Chicago. Yeah. Who was that other crazy kid that used to come that went to U of C? Remember I'm talking about? His name was like Tom. He played chess. He was like some kind of crazy chess champion. Oh, the, he used to come to the max when we were in the pub. Yeah, with his dad. With his dad. With the glasses. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Can't, I don't remember his name. He's a savant. He's a, he's a, he's a something. All right, Derek, one seat, pocket tens. He's in there. Anthony, ace, queen of clubs, and Big Cup. Big Cup was the one who raised, and then Derek threw bet them all in. So it's around to Anthony with ace, queen. Did he just fold the ace, queen? No, Anthony called, and then Big Cup. So what do you think about the, the fold there with the fours? I mean, it's the right fold. You don't want to float a $150 no. set mine and see if you can make it 15 happen. 15 to 1. You, or you oh, have wow. to have, no, no, you have to have 15 times your stack that you call in order to set mine properly. Five five six. So you know, if Big Cup had eighteen hundred, then okay. Right. And if he thinks he's going to get paid from Anthony. Right. Well, that's the whole point. You, you gotta. All right. Tens are good. Derek survives. Ace Queen. No love. No love for the fours either. No Ten. Best hand first. wins. I hate when the best hand wins. Uh -huh. It's bad for TV. It's bad for TV. Good TV is when just bad stuff happens, right? Like, nobody wants to go to a movie and be like, hey, they, the family goes on... 
a vacation and they have fun and then they come home. Bruce and Willis goes on a, a picnic with his kids and the Mexican gang that shows up invites him over for tacos right. and some modelos and hanging out. It's not racist. That's what people eat. Like, it's fine. You know? Like, that's what happens. Like, nobody gets shot in the bathroom. Like, no, we want bad stuff to happen because bad stuff makes for good TV. Right? If Bruce Willis' wife gets killed by some postman and then he decides that he's going to take out the U.S. Post Department, right. and that's a good that's movie. Good for him. Right? We should... Yes. <laughs> Nobody. They play, trademark, yeah. trademark, yeah. trademark. <laughs> call Alex. Uh, Bruce Willis, if you're watching this, uh, have your people call my people. All right, Derek's little, just. Uh, Lip in the button. Yeah. Chop blocking. Chop blocking. I love that. Yeah. Look And look what he's chop blocking. Just right. dog crap hands. Just nothing. He's going to win with the $10 bet. This bat. is one of those ones, guys, where we just. Norm and Chad just talk it out because the Fold, hands are not going. Yeah, fold so we get out of the next hand. Don't yeah. don't let the button with 10 3. Race. And then check, check, check. Right, race. Bet something. There we go. Just Will just fold chops. out. Let's <laughs> get his hand over with. Will just dumps it. That's awesome. Anthony's got the best hand here. 80% winner with the pocket fours. Probably because he's got 10 3. Hey, when's our Pokeball coming today? We ordered Pokeball again. <laughs> And are you still on hold with... I'm on hold with Venmo. They're holding my money. Things aren't good. Brandon's having a rough day. I'm having a rough day. Um, I, on the other hand, have great news. You're involved slightly. What do you got? Where am I going tonight? Oh, the Hawks game. The Hawks game, because between the conglomerate of myself, Brandon, and Allison and Ryan, they're a partnership, so they only count as one-third of it, um, we've got some season tickets to the Blackhawks. Yeah. Which is only beneficial to CCG Poker TV I don't blame because her, we Patty. are going to give away some is a lot of um, some tickets, right? We are. We have some tickets coming up that we're giving uh, away. I, I think know we're we... giving away like a bunch in the next month. Yeah, I got to figure that out. So bear with me while I look in my phone to figure out. Your DoorDasher is at Aloha Pokey waiting to pick up. Not getting soy sauce and not picking up. Cutlery. Hopkins. Yeah, those guys are the worst. Uh, we have Ace King versus Ace Queen. We got an open to 30 by Mike and a raise to 100 by Pat. Mike, this is where Pat's image is going to hurt him, I think. Mike's got 2100 in front of him. He doesn't want to put in 70 more dollars with Ace Queen. So, sometimes the image of Pat being a little nitty hurts him. Yeah, I mean, guys only want to play against him. if I made it 100 there, Mike would be ecstatic. Chomping at the bit. Ecstatic to be putting more money in with Ace Queen. Mike knows. Mike knows that Pat had it. I think he just asked you, you for the confirmation. I wanted to call. Pocket nine. I know Which I, I never give. No. I think no. I think Pat said I had Ace King, and then he looked back again. Oh, nice. I know if I can hit a nine, yep, I'm getting Ace King. Yeah. Oh, all right. What's the date today? Yeah, today's the twenty second. Your order's been picked up. Oh wow! So Thursday we're supposed to be promoing these seats. Like is in Thursday's game. Like the one that is running right now. Hang on. Yeah, so for this game, congratulations to everyone the Blackhawks tickets. Get to the, get get to the, the Blackhawks game! <laughs> so congratulations to whoever won our Facebook coach, which in light of re realizing this, we're, this is where it gets weird. This is airing on Thursday night, which is when the game is, which is when Thursday night uh, commentary is. We just realized. We just realized that we have to give away a seat in the Blackhawks. So we're going to go back to the past and give we're away gonna a seat. We're go back to the past. I'm going to record the vlog and make it a vlog promo. What should the promo, like, because I'm just giving it away. Should we just give it away? Just like. Just give the first one away, yeah. Like, first person to comment from the vlog? Like bonus for super fans well, who watch this shit like, like the a, day it comes out. Yeah, like a be the seventh caller. Oh really? <laughs> I would be gross. How would we do that? I don't know. I'm just like ah, sorry man, you're first. Maybe do Facebook Live right now. All right. Well, if you see if you see some weird comments coming out in the next ten minutes, this know is, that we in the future thought about this in the past. We and we, and we definitely didn't screw it up. 
But anyways, congratulations to whoever won. And stay tuned, because we are going to be giving away, I mean, probably, what, like 10 games? Because I don't think I'm going to be able to go to more than a, a handful. Yeah. And I get, what, 15 you games? 16 games. Oh, yeah. So, or 15 games. See, fans of CCG, we are now doing CCG... StubHub, CCG Ticket Hub, CCG Blackhawks Ticket Giveaway. They're now a new sponsor of the CCG Poker TV. Big Cup, hiding his cards. Ooh, Mr. Gutshot, 6 7. This could get interesting. Now they are, are they playing the Look 7 at deuce this. game? 9 6, 8 5, 9 6, 7 deuce. Are All they, right. are they, pay, are they playing the 7 deuce game? I don't think so. I know they did it. Later, I don't remember if they're doing it in this game. I don't remember. All right, so we're also giving away. Oh no, just the one. Oh no, we're not. There's like a whole chunk in November yeah, that we're giving away. One, two, three, four, five games coming up in November. So we're at 11 minutes in. We can talk about uh, yeah, yeah. our food's about to be here. Nice. We can talk about other stuff too. I feel like we've jumped around a lot, but I'll get more focused here in a minute. Yeah. Upcoming CCG stuff that I want to talk about, because it's the end of the year. We've got the winter CSOP, which we've changed the schedule on. It used to run from, like, end of October, and it would end on Black Friday weekend, Thanksgiving weekend. This year, I wanted to switch it up and start the winter CSOP, which is really like poorly winter. named because it's in the fall, but that's fine. Well, now it's in the winter. Yeah, it's more winter because it's like December. So what right. I want to do is rip the winter CSOP is going to start the weekend of Thanksgiving weekend, and it will go all the way through the end of the year. Yep. And then we will have a huge four-day event at the max, a mini-main kind of idea. I'm thinking 360, 400. We haven't quite figured out the details yet. Those will come out shortly this week. Well, I just it's want definitely going to be the last weekend of the year. Everybody to notice, we're going to do the winter CSOP is going to run from Thanksgiving weekend, which is the busiest weekend of the of the year, except the meetup game, which might have crushed Black Friday hopes yes. as the number one event of all time. It's still our favorite in our hearts. You will never find an early bird tournament like you find no. on Black Friday. That's like 400 craziness. 400 people plus rebuys. Not rebuys, re entries. It's gross. Anyways, so we got winter CSOP. So during the, the no month of November, we're also going to give away a bunch of. Is that them? Yeah, you keep going. A bunch of Blackhawks tickets. What else we got coming up? I think that's about it. Oh, we have lunch coming up. So today's stuff is brought to you by uh, Aloha Pokeball. Oh, William. Mr. Gutshot wins with a 7-2 off. I think they're playing the 7-deuce game, but I'm not 100% sure. We'll see if everybody throws them an extra 10 bucks. So the 7-deuce game is when you play in a cash game and you want to have a little side action where if you win the hand with 7-deuce, uh, you get a bonus from each and every player. <laughs> Makes for a crazy part of the game. Uh, let's see. Today is Thursday. So we also have this Saturday at King's Hall, CCG Poker. We're going to be doing the 10K guaranteed $180 Mega Stack. We haven't done a Mega Stack in a long time. It's where you get 75K in chips with your bonus and your add-ons and all the good stuff. Make sure you register before 4 o'clock. Um, it's insane. Should be a massive turnout. It's a big prize pool no matter what because it's guaranteed. So don't forget about that one. I don't realize how much Brandon talks when I'm by myself here, or I do realize how much Brandon adds to this when I'm talking by myself all the time. Feels like a prolonged Monday poker fix. All right, you got Anthony raised with Ace Jack. Mike calls with uh, two uh, two big cards, King Queen. I like to call it a blackjack hand. Out flops Anthony, flops a King. Three four. Anthony's option looks like he checked into Mike. You paused it. No. Oh. I take that back. Anthony bet out, throws a little C bet out of $30. Mike calls with top pair, second best kicker. Turns it 10. Gives Anthony a gut shot now. He's going to bet it out again. He's just putting on Mike on nothing. Two big cards, except he doesn't realize Mike has king queen. Anthony raised pre flop. Yeah. Bet it out on the flop. Bet it out on the turn. Mike's just check calling so here. Mike, yeah, check call, check call, check call. Reeling him in. Reeling him in. 
Look at that. Look at his face. He's so excited. Fades it. Backdoor flush gets there, but nobody cares about that because it's hold him and it never happens. Anthony finally gives it a check, and now Mike's got a bet for value here. What's the value bet? Two hundred fifty dollars in the pot. It's already nice sized pot. Something that. 50, 80, 100? You don't want to scare him away, right? Like, you want him to be able to call with an ace jack hand or an ace 10 hand. Right. Right. Because he raised pre flop. You got to put him on something. Maybe jacks could get. Yeah, queens or jacks might give him a call and probably would have played the same way. Anthony smartly gives it up. King jack, too. What did he bet? I didn't even notice. I did 95. Did you get our food? I did. Oh. It's right here. All right, pass it out. We're going to eat? No, you want to pause it? Is this the Kahuna? I yeah, swear we get it. It never feels like it's very big. We get screwed. All right, folks, we're going to take a 15-minute scheduled break for... Uh, <laughs> we're 16 minutes yeah, in. Yeah, 16 minutes in. We've already taken two, two breaks. Two breaks. Okay. CCG Union at its finest. Yep. All right, we'll be right back in a few minutes. You guys won't notice anything, but we'll be gone for 15. Correct. All right, we're back. That was a good lunch, Brando. Good break, good lunch. Yeah, I agree. Except for they didn't give us any color. Colory? Yeah. Colory? So Alo Aloha Pokeball has been sponsoring this uh, for a while just because we eat there a lot, and it's it's really good. It's like good, it's crazy healthy, good. It's no carb. No, low carb. It's healthy. It's just fish and salad. salad. But it's awesome. Like, it's like raw sushi. It's great. Anyways, they have never once given us forks, knives, spoons, soy sauce, napkins, napkins anything. We ask every single time, please include a fork, one napkin, and one packet of soy sauce, please, and they can never get it right. Anyways, back to poker. Big cup, king queen, flops a queen. Bets out 45. Derek calls with middle pair. Ace five. Yeah, got to call once, keep him honest here. Rips a 10 on the turn. No, check if Chris bets again, you kind of probably just got to get away from it. Chris probably isn't going bet bet with stuff worse than Ace Five. Mm -hmm. And even hands that you are beating right now are like King Jack of Hearts and stuff that have really good equity, so it's tough to play. He does call though, and looks like a brick river. I can't see it yet though. Dun dun dun. Look at, look at, look at Maybe it's an ace. Nope, oh, it's a deuce. Okay, or it's a deuce. It's a scary deuce, though. If Derek was going to bluff, now's the time to do it. I mean, plus it's the river. You really don't have many so options. So, all in, in, call. Derek. Well, Big Cup didn't even... He didn't even hesitate. No. He must watch where he was just like, yeah, kid's full of shit. I mean, what does the kid get there? Ace three... Three, six, I mean, the only hearts. two cards you can put them on are the exact ace, five of hearts, right? Yeah. You flop the five, turn hearts, rivered the flush. Yeah, I mean, I guess that bluff really does make kind of a lot of sense there by Derek. I mean, Big Cuff just must have sniffed it out. Or was just, it wasn't very much. Just 363 on the river. Okay, so it was a lot. <laughs> Well, the graphics said 363. It looked like more yeah, it's like probably 363. Whatever, it's still close. Yeah. I thought it was like 140 bucks or no, something. No, no, there was Not like, the, is there a huge difference between 140 and 260? I don't know. I mean, 120 bucks, but. I don't know. I felt like it was more. Well, it's good to know that if you had the flush, you would have gotten paid off. <laughs> That's the way I like to look at it. Yeah. What? A little earthquake jump, somebody kicking the camera. John, Jack's under the gun. Two Johns for John. Ooh, the camera is going a little crazy, Tom. But we're okay. They keep kicking it. Pad just full <laughs> ace nine suited. Jack's from John. Ace nine suited in position. Yeah, not good enough for Pat. Eight three suited. He got in there. Anthony straddled. I mean, I for 20 bucks more, you're going to yep. see it. Oh, Queen Jack yeah. suited. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, John's got him just dead to rights here 50% of the time. <laughs> Ace, seven deuce. Couple heart. Yeah. Checks through. John feels pretty comfortable. Less comfortable. That's yeah. a terrible turn. Now, John does have a jack of hearts, so it's not that bad of a turn. And, of course, it's John, so he has a flush. Yeah, he does run good. Yeah. 
checks it down, and winner, winner, chicken dinner. It just seemed kind of nutted when you, when you checked, and then you piled in like 700, and I was like, oh, okay. And that's it. So, not a bad run out for Jax, even though it's a bad, bad flop, turn. bad turn. Turned out to be an okay river. Yeah. Just gotta sweat the king. That Pokeball is good, though. It is good. It's like the perfect amount of food, too. Here, I got this for that. Can I just try it every day all day? Just try it all day. Just try it all day. Would you like some uh, hand sanitizer? Sure, absolutely. It's Signature Care Ooh. hand sanitizer with aloe. Nice. How do they get the aloe in there? I don't know, because isn't that like... Like a plant, right? Yeah, but isn't it like this stuff dries it out and the aloe... Right. So, so just cancel out and there's really no out. aloe and no... And no uh, alcohol or whatever. The, I don't know, it's just the, the worst. Mm -hmm. Basically, I'm just rubbing some random stuff on my hands and hope it's good. So what else? I, I, so we talked about the winter CSOP coming up. We talked about the mega stack coming up on Saturday, right? Correct. What else we got coming? Oh, up? Oh, mega stacks this Saturday. Mega stacks this Saturday. Hello, where's it at? Where are we at? Ten K Kings oh, Hall. Hall. Gonna years. do a CCG Poker TV final table if we can. The problem is, is that we we're expecting such a big turnout. It'll it, finish. Don't don't get. Don't it get. will be the first ten levels are going to be fifteen minute blinds. Yeah. We gotta yeah, go back no 12, to the, 24, so... No 12, 24. Are we going to do 15 or 20? 15, right? 15 for the first 10. And, and then 20. after that, go to 20. Still be plenty of play. You got like I would like to be able chips. to get some of the, the final, final table, um, which is cool. All right. All right. Ace, jack, hands. king, queen. For once, the ace, jack, uh, isn't outflopped by nope. the two big unders. Medium hold spray gel. I bought this the other day. Whoa. I'm not wearing this. No? It's just my normal stuff. Yeah. But when I got my hair cut, they didn't have my normal boost powder, which Ooh. is what I use. Thanks. So then I had to buy something else. Uh -huh. Gel just never. It's either it's super wet look, or you don't get any. I don't like it. So the spray gel doesn't help. No, it sucks. It's still shit. But I mean, I had nothing else to use, so it is what it is. So we gotta go with the Matt Pomade. Ooh. Matt. Wait, no, Matt is the shiny? No, Matt is, like, not Un shiny. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Big cup with the Jack 8. 69 for Pat. Hee hee hee. 10 4 5s for Chris. And making it 30. Snap call by Will. Queen Jack of Hearts on the button. Fletch out Anthony in there with eights. All right, we got a couple of uh, yeah, couple hands. hands here. How about the eight, five, ten, two heart flop? Nah, that'd be nice. All right, two hearts. No sets, but it's two hearts. Yeah, I mean, ace is kind of an action killer. It check, is a little check, bit. It's gonna check. get checked through. We're gonna see one turn card. Let's make it something fun. Ooh, seven. Chris is not going to let it walk twice. He bets 50. Will calls. And Anthony gives up the best hand. <laughs> Turns an ace. Eights are good. Chris is going to take this pot because he was the one who bet it. Oh, no. Queen high from Will. He's still going to bet it and win. No. Chris is betting. That's fives. what I mean. Chris is going to bet his fives. And Will's going to fold because he can't call with queen high. Even though the queen high is the best hand. I was wondering. I didn't. I was wondering why Chris was betting the river, but it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I mean, now he's turned his moderate bluff into a full-blown. I have nothing. I am playing the board. Plus one. Plus one. Yeah. He beats board. Barely. But that's it. Barely. <laughs> the only thing he can do is beat the board. Derek is our more our most aggressive player so far, based on the aggression frequency and check stat. Check the bottom of that. Big cup and Pat at the bottom. Yeah, I think big cup kind of got guessed. hit by a, the mic bus when uh, it was that flush over flush. So I feel like uh, that'll kill some of his action. Because normally I don't feel like he's he's an overly tight player. Do you? I mean, I guess. I can't open up. Fletch, ace eight off. What a Fletch in. In there. 
Chop blocking. Oh, there's a strap. So no chop. Four ways. Queen nine. Queen seven. Seven six. Bunch of hot garbage here. I like the queen nine. Seven six for big cup in there. Flops bottom two. John flops middle pair. Anthony flops uh, the good shot. And Fletch flops the gutter. Yeah. Fletch is in there with the gutter. Yeah, he is floating it. Anthony's in there with his gutter. And overcard and backdoor flush shot. Oh. Double gutter for Anthony now. Yeah. Chris is going to keep pounding away. Yeah, I mean, I like this bet. He yeah. bets 75. 75 into 100. You want to keep him around to, to pay off a little bit, but, but price they got to they gotta pay it, right? Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Anthony is not going anywhere. Anthony, eight outs, 18%. Looks like three of them are dead. And that's the worst river for Anthony. Yep, because it gives Chris, him a pair. Chris really can't value bet that river. No. I mean, it's tough to get called by worse. I guess that's something that I always have trouble when I'm betting on the river is to think about what, what could a player call with that's worse but will actually call. Right, because, like, obviously, oh, he could have missed draws. He, he could, have... I mean, ace-queen of diamonds is the only card you could, you know, right. ace-king of diamonds. But then there would have been a race pre-flop, so it's like you got to discount some of those. That's where I have trouble going down. It's like, well, yeah, maybe the guy's got ace-queen. Well, if he had ace-queen, would he have played it the same way previous streets? Previous streets. I have also, yesterday, I think I broke my new record of Sesame Street. Harrison and I watched... Five freaking hours of Harrison, uh, Harrison. Five freaking hours of Sesame Street. I wanted to blow my brains out. I can only watch. So that's why you were so much. Me. Yeah, I was. I was very upset about Sesame Street. Harrison was cool as shit though. He loved it. He thinks it's funny. I think my favorite line of the night was "Eyes are all and say it on the air." Uh oh. <laughs> if Nahoon was here, I'd punch him. In the oh face. yeah, I did say that. I was so <laughs> mad. <laughs> <laughs> I was cracking. Oh, uh, poor Naun. He's like my punching bag of literal punching bag. I do love him though. He's so nice and sweet. He's such a good kid, you know. His queen five rainbow. Pocket um, sevens feels like there's a ton of pocket. Yeah, it's a nobody, pocket pair heavy. No sets. sets. A lot of pocket pair heavy. You know, hands. Look, at Derek. Just see. This is why people are so much better than me. Into four people. Ace out there. He's got. Middle pair, middle kicker. Bets it out. Fifty-five. He's probably thinking though. He's the ace of diamonds is out there. Picks up a hundred dollars yep. just because he had the stones to bet it. Yep. I thought he had the best hand, but like he he That's gave right. didn't give anybody yeah. else a chance to really outplay him. All right, halfway through, no f bombs. We're doing good. Nice. We got our promo well, plugged I in. Think if we take three, I finally bought breaks. the um, the equipment to do the podcasting. That's good. So we're gonna do our podcast starting. So probably, I'm gonna like. I would like the first episode to come out around Thanksgiving. I think that would be cool. Like something that we can get out beforehand. We got to do some cool stuff. Um, Maybe our first episode would just be all about the winter, CSOP. winter CSOP and Black Friday in general. Yeah. Or maybe 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 episode one should be about Black Friday and episode two could be about. Uh, the, the WSOP or CSOP which did I ever tell you a time that um, there's a guy out in Vegas doing the charity series of poker yeah, CSOP Matt Stout he's my guy yeah he was very mad at me when he when he said On I Twitter? stole his idea that I couldn't use, no, the, hashtag couldn't use the hashtag CSOP, CSOP yeah. and then I had to break him the news that I actually own the trademark on that CSOP but it is what it is I don't mind I like it I think it's Beneficial yeah, I mean, for everyone. Yeah, they're, making, they're making money for good causes. Right. I mean, we do the same thing just Correct. on a smaller scale. Yeah. Split pot. Bad run out there for uh, for Big Cup. He might have gotten a little bit more from Derek if uh, the board didn't pair and then a bigger kicker on the river. Although when you've got ace five... Pretty tough to get any unders to, to roll through well there, so. so look at Mike. Just yeah, I love play. his stack, too. Look at the stack. Right, yeah. right, like, you can see it right underneath uh, Pat's chin. He's got a good stack going. Yeah. It's like a directional downward. Looks good. Looks good. 
It's a massive stack, though. I don't know. Pets hasn't changed, probably because they're glued. Yeah, it was really funny when somebody said, like, how is Pat going to move tables when his chips are glued to the felt? <laughs> I laughed. I laughed and I laughed. Looks busy, too. The event was very busy on this oh, day. Yeah. This was, was that first weekend of October. We did Friday, Saturday, Sunday at the Max? Friday, Saturday. And then Sunday was somewhere else? North Lake. Oh, North Lake. North Lake's been hit or miss. We've had some really good Sundays there. We've had some really down of the dump Sundays. I think a 3 p.m. Bears game. It's killer. It is. It's very hard to The guys don't want to show up early because they have to leave in three hours. Right. Then afterwards, Fire. it's 7 p.m. on Sunday, so it's tough to get a crowd afterwards. Right. At least, like, if there's a noon Bears game, like, 3 o'clock, you can start getting a little rush at 4. Right. People go, oh, I'll play 4 tonight. I'm going to go play and hang out and right. get my, my week workout in. Right. Will with 5-6 is going to call the straddle. Big cap on a button. Queen 4. You call it? Nice. All right. Very diamond-heavy hands here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven diamonds. On uh, five players. Yeah. I bet there's no diamonds on the floor. Oh, B2 diamonds. Are you there with that one? Nice. Everybody's thinking back door there is draws. Lobs. Back door draws. You missed it. Anthony flops the flush draw. This guy comes to the table. Um, Anthony actually has the best uh, hand here with queen high, and he has the best draw. He's going to take this pot down for 20 bucks. He like wins a hand off me. Okay, I get no right resistance, right winner, winner. Winner, winner, winner chicken dinner. Oh yeah, yeah. Brian showed me his card. Yeah. People still say that winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah, a little bit. How about a little shout out to Brian Screens, who I know doesn't listen to this. Tom Bezos. No, Tom Bezos. I've never seen that from Jeff Bezos, Phil Ivy. Uh, Bruce Willis, all listen to CCG Poker TV or watch it on Facebook or YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. But uh, I'm pretty sure White Sox Brian, who plays at the events, moderately, he's a regular, even though he only plays some of the bigger stuff. Yeah. There's no way he listens to us, although he just got ninth in the Hammond WSOP main event, right? Yeah. Ninth. And kind of got screwed on the ninth. Now, he did get screwed, but had a bad run out, right? I didn't see I his, saw on, I didn't see I saw on Twitter where he like kind of got down and then he went all in with Jax and got called by like Queen 10 or Queen Jack and a Queen window window card is Queen and then crippled him down to like 15k and then obviously didn't come back. But he still got ninth. I mean, ninth is an awesome uh, pretty incredible finish. The man's, just, me a the man's just volunteering, man. Yeah. That's why I want to make sure he's still in the family of Cuba. No problem, actually. Fletch with Queen. Whoa. He picks up a hand that big? Whatever. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Looks like 45. Going big. So, as you kids want to play some poker. Yep. John with the 8 6, a very John hand. Probably knows that Fletch has a couple of high cards made at 45. I like, I like the move here with the 8 6. <laughs> Derek is really splashing about with Ace 6 off. Yeah. It, it'd be great, though, if he could beat Fletch with a Fletch hand. Yeah. He didn't. 10 Jack Deuce, two diamonds. I think Fletch is going to bet here and take it down. Probably gonna go heavier too. Think so? Yeah, it looks like 90 bucks or something, 100 bucks. Almost the whole pot. Two thirds pot. Nope, basically the whole pot. 130. I missed a green bird in there. <laughs> Pots the flop takes it down. I feel like that's one of those ones where. With that, with that kind of hand, I mean, if you get raised there, it's so tough. To play. It's like a little smaller, right? Like, I'm not criticizing. I'm just saying it's a difficult time to play queens. You got, you got blockers for the straight if somebody flopped something on that jack ten, but right. you got no diamond. Um, yeah, it's tough. It's a draw heavy board. It's tough. I'm so hungry. Right, little technical difficulty. Night. We got a switch. Oh, switch. I know. I see it, the switch. Switching. 
I'll give you my phone. Ooh, was he there that day? King. I don't think so. Does he ever pay you for his Ubers? Every time. Okay. But he owes me 16 bucks. Because I got him an Uber at... Uh, Ravi Ragvadan takes it down 272000 He's a... GVC right I think. Over at the horseshoe, the Hammond. GVC. W- uh, I know, no, 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 the WSOP. Yeah, 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 yeah. Circuit event. Yep. Yeah, Brian Screen's 28000 for that. Wow. It's gross. What was first? 270? 272. It's just. So any, other, any other names that we would know? No, Matt Shepsky, he plays five time pillow with the shoe. He won it, I think, last year. I was going to say, I think I remember that oh, name. He won, he got seventh this year. Before he got wow. That's pretty impressive yeah, to win and, and then he, final table yeah. and get top seven. Yeah. I mean, and he literally, he like, I think him and his wife had like, the third kid hasn't been at the horseshoe for like six, eight months because the kid's probably about eight months now. Yeah. Shows up for the main event, final table. <laughs> Forty-five thousand. You must be doing something. Yeah, it must be doing something good. Something right. All right, Derek, three bets here. Uh, looks like yeah. Nope, nobody's gonna get it. Three bet to hundred, take it down. It's like hundred and three dollars there. Dead money. Sixty. Yeah, I get three. Oh, that's close. I heard a couple of GTOs in there. Oh, the guy that got second, one, one cash to his name. One recorded cash. The guy who got second place. Oh, really? He got 339th in the Colossus the year back then. Nice. For 3000 bucks. Wow, 309th place paid three grand? Do they still do the, the Colossus, or did they, they well, kind of change it up a little bit? They changed it this year, the big 50. Oh, but it's, for the 50th anniversary. Yeah, which is so kind of I don't know what the, I don't know if they're If they'll do. go back to the Colossus. And how many people were in the big 50? Like a crazy number. Like 30,000. That's insane. I know it's stuff we've talked about. Anthony opens with Ace Jack here. Race to 15. It's weird when you're so used to playing 2-5-10. They've been doing the straddle yep. so much. And then when the straddle's not on, um, to go back to... Open the 15 and not 30, 45. Correct. Yeah, it's like the whole dynamic changes. Anyways, a lot of big cards in Derek with 8-5. I like the 8-5 right now, which apparently so does the stats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, the flop's already out. <laughs> I knew I liked that 8 5. 10 8 6, two hearts. Oh, the flop's not out yet. Aaron's trying to figure out where to put it. And I'm like, you got to use the line. The start of the line. Oh, start of the line. Oh, Come go. on, guys. We'll get there. Big Cup has the ace of hearts for notable. <laughs> Somebody bad. Yeah, so here's the problem. Aaron, Aaron's never done the table before, so he's having a little bit of uh, trouble being like telling me what the action is. Right. But it's fine. We get through it. Pretty clear cut hand. Everybody's got big cards. Flops middle cards. Derek smashes it. Derek wins. No, but, uh, oh, guy who got fourth place, first ever cash. Yeah. Must be nice. Males Must be have nice. More. <laughs> yeah, I would like to. How many caches do you have to your name? Nice. You say it so nonchalantly. 12, 15, well, whatever. I'm good. It's way down. <laughs> way in the negative in the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say if you were a profitable player. I said, how many times have you cashed? Pocket eights from Chris, making it thirty. Must be a raise, or must be a uh, strudel out there. Yep. Anthony straddled. Calls it king queen. Fletch with the seven five suited. Fletchy Fletch getting in there. <laughs> some good turns for Fletch. If he's there, are some good turns. Maybe it's he'll like appeal a thirty dollar bet. Maybe he'll appeal thirty. Nah. King Queen? Oh yeah, he flopped Queen. He's getting in there. He's he's I excited. Four diamonds comes. Seven. The Fletch is a genius. One of the cards that'll get him in trouble. Three check queens. check. Ends up with three. This queens. is a great river for Anthony. He's gonna bet, get paid off here. Hundred call. Good. Yeah, because it's less likely he has a queen, and right. he's got an overpair yeah. for everything else. It's yeah. the dream. It's the dream queen. It's the dream. Jim card. Right. Speaking of which, me and Keith played 
five games of gin on Saturday because I was sitting there bored. Mm-hmm. And he won all five. No. I, didn't, I didn't realize how bad I was at gin. Gin's a really... It is a tough game it's a to tough like game. figure out. Like, I'm okay at the whole, like, remembering what's been discarded, what he's been picking up, trying to count outs that are gone. I get confused on, like, the picking up. You already got the two, three, four hearts. You pick up the five of hearts. Like, sometimes it hurts your hand to keep it. Mm-hmm. And stuff like that with other outs and other stuff. So I was really confused. Big Cup just limps in with that King-10 suited. That's out of there. Derek's raising with Jack. Did that play the hand? No. Yeah, he did. He played Ace King versus Ace Queen. Oh yeah. Pre-flop, won it. Won it with good flop. Couldn't couldn't get a hundred dollars on the mic. Couldn't get seventy more dollars on the mic. Nope. <laughs> Hello. Mm, that's a nice flop for Big Cup. Nutter butters. I can see you're a little behind on the table. Yeah, it's because he's flying. He's flying. All right, Big Cup bets it out. Derek's going to come along. I don't know why. He's got the third enough flush draw. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Any bricks? I thought that was the Queen Clubs. Yeah, oh, Queen Clubs would have been bad. Bad for Derek. He just slams it all in. Now, I will say this. Uh, maybe I shouldn't say this because I don't want to pull out a tell on Chris yeah. or a thing. But him and I talked about this, where it's like when you've got the nuts and you just way over bet it. Because I remember he did it one time with kings, quad kings, and I asked, like, why would you bet so much? Why not just throw out 50 bucks? It was bucks? like king, king. What was it that had? I don't remember, but... I, I think do. it was like ace, ace, king. Or it was like was that, was ace, that, ace, six, six, five. It was that king's hall. And he had the like quad sixes or something. Yeah, yeah, quad six. He was just hoping that the guy had an ace and got all the money. So the, okay, so there was a more of a reason for that one. This was more of a Derek's such a wild player, maybe he could call off like a small. Flush. I think he's just yeah. I think Derek's probably gonna call him a flush. So right. as we'll just get the max <laughs> value, get it all, make it look like a bluff. Yeah. Uh oh, pocket kings for Chris. He'll be playing this one. Thirty. Lots of folds arounds. And that's it. Yeah. No action. Fastest way to make uh eight bucks. Uh, Seventeen yeah. bucks. Seventeen bucks. The blinds. I couldn't do that math. Mm -hmm. nice. Pat still a two point two K. What was our bet that he wouldn't go below two point one? No, it, one yeah. Two point one to two point three. <laughs> <laughs> and it has been <laughs> Like, I don't think the image is just, the, the bottom one is just pasted. The other ones are all changing, and his is just like, stay. All right, we have a straddle from Mike, Pat, under the gun. He's out of there. It's probably like Ace Queen. I just didn't want to put it on the, <laughs> the sensor. Fletch ace four, Anthony ace nine, big cup with ten five, and John Lynch eight five, and then the straddler checks his option, ace king eight. Fletch loves top pair, bad kicker, and he might get a little punished here. Anthony has a better ace. Jack on the turn. <laughs> uh, Fletch with the four ball in the river. Oh, but Mike's in here too with the mystery hand. Mystery Mike! And it's definitely not the Ace of Clubs in his hand. Nope. I think. I don't know. Fletch two pair. He shows. Bad river. Bad river, he says. Looks like uh, Mike has clubs. Six deuce of clubs. Yep. Pretty good flop for six deuce of clubs. He was the straddle The straddler. Straddle E? Straddle I? I don't know. There's only one straddle. Straddler. Do you prefer an under the gun straddle or a Mississippi straddle? Do they call it Mississippi straddle anymore? Is it just a button straddle? Uh, I think Mississippi straddles are going to straddle from anywhere. 
Well, it goes from the button backwards. So anybody behind the button has the option to put a straddle out, and then the action starts to that person's immediate left. Right. So I played in a game in Tunica where it was a 1-2 no limit game, no cap buy-in. It was an uncapped game. This freaking guy buys in for like 10K. Yeah. And, and there wasn't even like 3,000 on the table. I mean, it was a, it was a baby 1-2 game. And he, Mississippi straddled every hand, and I was lucky enough, I was sitting to his right. Every single hand, That's I awesome. get the best. Oh, yeah, it was great. I had position on him, so it was, it was good. How many things of Pringles is that good um, <laughs> I prefer an under-the-gun straddle for the action in the game. Yeah. But then I don't do it. I'm only gonna Looks like there's some extra chips at the table. <laughs> yeah, Pringles! Fletch is getting some. Making a mess at my table. I don't know why I like this guy. King Jack, 9-10, fours. Derek bets 50 out on his gut shot. And he wins. <laughs> so button straddles make the game tight. -er. Think so? Weird because it makes the blinds play tight. Because the small button and big blind are already out of position post flop. But now they have to be out. They have to. They're first and second to flop. Right. Whereas the the under the gun straddle, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 people are coming around. You're small more likely and big to get them. Are later in position before the flop. Right. So then they'll put in more money with worse hands. So it's better for the game when it's under the gun, but the under the gun straddler is at a huge disadvantage. Right. Where the button straddler is at a advantage. huge advantage. Correct. You get to put extra money in when you're in, in the, the best position. position. Anthony Queen Jack making it thirty. Haven't seen a lot from John this no, this session. No, he's playing pretty tight. Pat, a six suited? No. Nope. Nah. Derek, Jack nine suited. Yeah. They're like the exact opposite player. They are. You ever heard the term? What's good for the goose is good for the gander. You know what the gander is? Waiting on the flop. Yeah. Uh, I think we got a bad card, bump card. It's that deuce of clubs. Three clubs gives Mike some outs and the best hand. And a dominating position. That's 45. Anthony's going to see a river. He's going to need a jack. Ooh, is this the hair I screw up? Come on. No, no, this is a different. Uh, maybe this. No, no, John was in the one. It's different. Oh, yeah. That was last, that was this week. I'm getting my day screwed up. I'm sure my ROI is very high, being that I won 47,000 in one tournament. But I haven't looked at it. Shows the queen falls. Yeah, it's a pretty tight fold. It is. Because the final table, I told you to do it. What a douchebag. Make it all the good folds. I know, man. Make it all the good folds, he says. I would have went and knocked out, and I would have never heard the end of it. Mike, can you believe this? What is it? I'm at the final table in Vegas at the Monster Stack. All right. He's there. Who's he? Me. Okay. I'm like, hey, and why don't you come Anthony. sweat me at the final table? Nope. And Anthony. Nope. nope. <laughs> this guy either. Neither one of them. Oh, wow. I end up making 48K. But no. Nope. So the World hey, Series is over at the horseshoe now, right? They did no like. There was an event. Uh, now, we did so hear that the numbers were a little down this year, right? Yeah. Not as busy. only got one card. But now there are a ton of tours now that come through Chicago. Yeah. MSPT comes a couple times a year. APT comes four times a year. Four times? HPT four times a year. The World Series twice. Yeah, they come in August and they come in October? October and February. October and February. Oh, because it's at like. Because they got rid of the Chicago Poker Classic, Classic and changed it into another, another circuit series. event. Yep. Which is pretty cool. I mean. Yeah. No, the. Yeah. The WSOP does an incredible job yeah. with poker. I think they do an incredible job. I don't know why they don't do any live streaming for, like, the circuit events. I feel like people yeah, would watch it, right? I agree. I would watch it. Always. Derek! Quack, 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 quack. Thank you very much, Mr. Ducksworth. Mighty Ducks. Great movie. How many Mighty Ducks are there? Three or four? 
think there's three. Maybe there's I know there's four. three. I well, know yeah, there's, there's four. the first one, and there's the one they go to the Olympics or the children's games or whatever. Yeah. That's the best one, D2. And then D3 is when they're in that prep school. Prep school which I, it was, and they're varsity. Yeah, I lost them on that one. Yeah, that was the one where... That one kind of sucked. Turn is something. Ace. Still haven't got this flop down on the, the line, but we're getting there. Chris takes it down from his buddy. I will say this, the UFC kids, like, they are not afraid to play against each other. No. Like, that's great. I like when buddies play, and they're ruthless. Yeah. There's See, no I soft play, really, there's I no, like, checking it down, or, like, you know, sizing down because it's your buddy, or, you know? Greek John, calling it a night. Not by choice. It happens. We all do it. Yeah. Fletch out of there. Will out of there. Anthony making it 15 with the King 10 off. Ooh, three bet from Mike. I mean, 45. Three bet incoming. Had a six out of there. Derek out of there. Chris. And Anthony does not want to go up against Mike. Oh, out of Unless position. he's got a premium hand, yeah, right? I mean, like play out of position for three streets with King Ten, mm -hmm. very vulnerable hand. I like the raise and I like the fold. So the outsiders. <laughs> outsiders are we? Are they the outsiders or? Yeah, they're the outsiders. <sighs> they're getting. Bottom of the, bottom they're getting of the, uh, <laughs> the totem pole there of that stat. <laughs> Ups and downs, wins and losses. The college kids are. Taking a beating so far. <laughs> Lighten it up on Twitter, though. Yeah, it's great. I mean, if anybody ever said anything to them about losing, they're like, eh, well, I'll be making 100000 more. Yeah, in probably. Years, so. You'll be working for me someday. Right. Big cup with the ace queen this time. Suited. When your luck runs out at the poker table, you so can now, come work for is me. Is it just image based that Anthony's willing to play a 7 4 against Big Cup? But um, not willing to play as much against. It's against Fletch. Oh, it is against Fletch. Oh, I got you. There was a bet and a raise. But now. Yeah, now when you're the last guy to close the action. Uh, I like it. Is, See a flop. A, yeah. It's a flop you can make some money on. You're going to need to flop two pair, though. Or a big draw. Flops one pair. Check, check. check so check. now, like. Turn a spade? No, it's nah, an now, eight, now he's, he's on check mode. Ah, four. Oh, four doesn't help. But Still two pair. Checking, knowing that he might be good here. Might have missed a bet there. Baby. You know, Coming I down to the I tail can, end I of this. I complain that it's cold in here, but I'm wearing shorts and sandals, so I guess I can't really. Yeah, it. it's cold. But it's all right. I'd rather be cold than hot. Yeah, me too. Rather freeze it that than burn it up. That's a bit uh, very downer. Intense. Uh, yeah. Seems, graphic or I don't know. Morbid. That was morbid. The, that was what yeah. I was looking for. A little morbid, but you know. Would it be better to freeze to death than to burn alive? Uh, I, I mean, burning. How long are you gonna last? Ninety seconds before you die. Freezing has got to take like a half a day. Like that seems way worse. I know I'm sure that intense pain for 90 seconds is going to be really bad, but then it's over. I don't know. Half a day of torture. Well, you freeze pretty fucking cool. Oh, there it is. Right. There it is. 53 minutes. <laughs> I mean, look at the people on the Titanic. Uh, so it looks like Will is changing up his position. I, that is something I never do. Is it something you ever do? Uh, yeah. There's guys that are... You want to be you, sitting to the aggressive guy's left. But is he? I mean, he moved in front of Fletch and Anthony. Right. And All he's getting position on is Anthony. That's true. Because Fletch is, you know, hey, Fletch you is great. I like the way Fletch plays. I think he's um, he's a crafty veteran in the yeah, sense of true. they call my dad that in the golf course. Like, he's just a crafty old veteran. Like, he knows what he's doing. He knows the he, core. He knows the core moves. He's not going to stray too much. And when he does make a move, it's more likely that it – these kids will believe them. Hey, our first set. Not going to get any action. 
Queen, big card. Spade? No. No. Nobody's got anything. Fletch is going to bet here and take it down on the turn. I think I'm officially just abandoned slow playing. I'm done slow playing. Really? Ever. Yeah, you want to get the back, yeah. Let's go. And Fletch takes it down with the top set. So I bought a jersey. I, I do not own any jerseys whatsoever. You bought a Hawks jersey? I bought a Hawks jersey. Oh, I didn't buy so one yet. On this, on who do you think Ken Collin? Oh, Everybody really? knows me. I'm not a jersey wearing kind of guy. Uh -huh. I'm much more of a metrosexual, tight jeans wearing yeah. doofus. Yeah. Hipster doofus. Yeah. So when a hipster doofus buys a jersey, what kind of jersey does he buy? For the Blackhawks. No, no, that's okay. Straddles here if you want. I'll give you it is a Blackhawks jersey. Could be like an old player, could be a new player. Oh, the style of the jersey? No, no, or the just player? like the, what is the name on the back of the jersey? Oh. I might be giving away too much information here. Chelios. I, Chelios was my number two pick. Oh, man. Chelios is one of my favorite all time guys because that man was a badass, and when he got traded to the Red Wings, which is awful because this is when Detroit and Chicago had a huge rivalry. I, I'm sure they still do, but like it was hardcore, and he cried when he got traded, which I thought was great. And Chicago gave him a standing ovation when he came back to play. Nope, I bought myself a Griswold <laughs> Blackhawks jersey. That's pretty funny. Double zero. Yep. Pretty awesome, huh? All right, a lot of action here on this flop. $160 in the pot, considering we had five-way action and not a lot of great hands here. Big Cup's got a nine. Derek's got a nine. Could get some action from him. And Anthony flops the stones. Diamonds. Turns to deuce. Gives oh, Chris diamonds. some diamonds. Flush outs. Anthony is checking. Chris is betting again. Looks like about, ooh, 90. Now, if you're Anthony, you got a bet and a call, and you got the nuts with a flush draw out there. Do you Go raise it? Raise it up. Yeah, oh, I wouldn't he's grab all those chunking, yeah, chunking some greens out there. Strong. 300. Slow down. Slow down. Slow, Slow down, down, Anthony. Calm Too much. Down. Too much. Four, 400. I almost said 4K. <laughs> it's 400. <laughs> now he's not going to get a call from Chris. He might. Chris has got top pair with the second nut flush draw. I just don't. Chris doesn't strike me as a player that's going to call here. How much does Chris have? He's, he's got, got, got 1,200. He's got to think, am I going to get this last 800 on the river? Every time the river comes, any diamond. It, am I getting paid off? All 800. And the answer is no. Probably not. Now he might hope that Derek's got, you know, like a, no. another suited connector that isn't already made, right? Like maybe diamonds, Jack 10 of diamonds or something, where he's going to get paid from Derek. There, there is another element to this because of the fact that he's not playing against just Anthony heads up. Because you know damn well Anthony does not want to see a diamond. Nobody bets 400 on the turn when a flush draw comes and wants to see, and wants to see a diamond. If you do, you're a massive start your own master's right. class. Unless you got like 9-8 of diamonds or something where you got two pair of diamonds. Okay. But that's it. But yeah, I mean that's it's fine. a very small range. No, you know him, no, uh, I just think, I like it though. I mean, we don't know what the river would have been. It, it's one of the ones where I wish we could rabbit hunt here and see if it was a good bet or a bad bet. Oh, he called. I mean, if the, if the turn's a, another nine, it was a bad bet. If it turns a diamond, it was a great bet. Yep. <laughs> or, I'm sorry. If the river's a diamond, it's a great bet. I know what you meant. I'm from Canada, man. That's in my blood. Uh-oh. Canada coming out. Yeah. All right, I think this has got to be close to the last hand. Yeah. Hand number 59 of this Outsiders 2-5 cash game. CCG Regs versus the College Kids. College Kids right now are in the bottom, bottom third. Daniel Negreanu is from there, yeah. Almost called him. Three queens up top. Never going to happen. Jordan. Never going to happen. Who's the name of CCG Brandon? <laughs> that's Bronco. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Oof. I like it. That's some power moves right there. All right, uh, College Chris raises to thirty dollars. Gets a call from Mike. A lot of big cards. Fletch is in there with the Jack Three suited. That's a little unlikely. He is on the button. Ten nine nine. Nobody flops anything. Gut shot for Chris and Mike.
Force no help to anybody. <laughs> does put out three clubs, though. He made a straight on the bottom and a bow in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> sick. <laughs> All right, nobody gets anywhere close to a hand here. Fletch is good with a three. Yeah. Oh, nice. And he folds. Oh, we got a new player, Mike. Mike the mouth. Mike bets it out. Just smells weakness and figures I'm going to take this bet down. And he does. It's a $77 winner for nothing. Absolutely. Kind of a sick, uh, sick winner. All right, so now this should be our last hand, I believe. Yeah. Hour and two minutes, so yeah, this is definitely the last hand. So recap, who do you like uh, going into this final swing of things? Do you think Pat plays a hand? No, I, I like Pat. I know he's going to cash out with 2200, so yeah. I like him. Think the college kids will make a comeback here? I think so. I mean, something's got to give. Statistically, they should win a hand occasionally. Yeah. So who left? Um, oh, Greek. Greek John Greek left. John. Will okay. took Will John's John seat, seat, and then Mike took Will's old seat. Got it. <laughs> Fletch, playing a Fletch hand. Ace, deuce. Will, 8 9 suited. I like it. Limping in there. Pick up calls. Mike checks. Ace, ace, deuce. <laughs> Ooh, Fletch. Fletch. Now I remember this hand. Must be nice. Must be nice, Fletch. Queen puts two clubs out there. Will could get in trouble with a club here. Chris is going to bet out his three aces. $15. <laughs> There's only $40 in the pot. Mike is going to see... I don't know. He's just taking a stab <laughs> Mike's at it. Mike's just like, ah. I'm just going to take a stab at I got too pot. much money in my stack. Yeah, I'm Let me get, see if... Uh, this is called uh, rake back. Mike rake back. <laughs> Fletch just smooth calls to 45. Will gives up the flush draw. Chris calls. Mike goes, well, that didn't work. Maybe Mike's going to rep the clubs if they come out. Seven on the rivers. No help to anybody and certainly no help to Chris. He needed some help there. He needed a 10 or a queen or a deuce. And uh, he did not get it. So Fletch with the best hand here. Full house. Let's see how it plays down. At least Chris checked it with two guys behind him. Yeah. He's got to know somebody's got an ace, and you got to wonder if your 10's good. Although, 10 kicker's pretty good here. I mean, It is, and it's it Fletch was, who plays a lot of weak aces. And here's the other thing. There was no raise preflop. So you, you kind of take out king, the ace king, ace, ace queen, ace jack. Ace 10's starting to look like the best hand. Correct. But can you put anybody on ace, deuce, or ace 7? You can put Fletch on those hands because those are the exact aces that Fletch likes to play. Yep. So Fletch has got to get some value here. Bets 160. Chris snap calls with the three aces. And look at Will's face. Just, oh. <laughs> uh, I want to say, though, Chris lost the minimum. Though. He did. He did. He lost the minimum. He played it well. Did not go crazy. Could have raised. I don't think he have raised. Would have been a good bet. That would have been all over him for that one. Well. That's going to do it for part two of the Outsiders game Thursday night commentary. we got one more hour next week, and then we might throw a tournament in there, and then we've got another 2-5 cash game coming up. So we got lots of good stuff coming up for CCG Poker TV. Thank you for watching. As always, Brandon, give us your line. Just like Pat. Play tight. He's still there. Play, play tight. Play all night, folks. We'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye.